Hi friend, I hope you're doing super super well. So in our series of Gospel Carriers, I want to share with you today about a man named Johannes Gutenberg. And I want to share with this man also that God uses different talents that we have to spread the good news and to make sure it goes into all places. So Johannes Gutenberg grew up in a um, town called Mainz and his family were merchants. So there were people that were selling and buying and um, doing all those things. So they were business people, right? And he grew up in that world. And he was an inventor. He was a really smart guy and he invented things and was in that business world. So he wasn't a traditional, when you think of like the people we talked about before, he wasn't fitting in that category of like St. Francis or Ignatius or St. Patrick or any of them. It's very different. He was in a very different realm. He was in the realm of business. But he left a print there. A literal print. The printing press. Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press. In that time where he lived, you know, there was a scribe and he pretty much copied the Bible. That was a long process. It took about a year to do that. That's a long time. So you can imagine there weren't that many people, there weren't that many Bibles out there and accessible for people, right? It wasn't like today where you just go to the store and just like, oh, I want the Bible. Okay, which translation would you like? Oh, okay, this one, just pick it up. No, like the Bibles were very rare and were like in, you know, churches and clergy positions um, spread, but they weren't like available for the public. They weren't just easily available for people just to grab and take home. So with Gutenberg going through his education, doing all those things and becoming an inventor, and then eventually inventing the printing press, he actually lived in the talents that God has given him. And he used those talents to make a difference in the world, to touch lives. Like the first prints he did were actually for profit. They were poems. German poems. And he was able to sell them to make money of them. Because he had investors, right? Like today, you invest in business, right? And then you get a profit back. And of course, those investors want to get a profit back. But later on, he had the Bible project to print the Bible. And now imagine, again, looking at this scribe like that could write like one Bible a year. And now being able with the printing press to bring the price down to a level that's affordable, still very expensive, but more affordable than before, that opens the door for the Bible to spread even more, right? For the good news to spread even more. I remember when I worked in an electronic um, store in Germany, when the first flat screen TVs came out, and they were like 20,000 marks or about $12,000 or something. And that was the first generation. And of course, there weren't that many people that couldn't afford it. But then what happened over time, the prices came down. As soon as the technology developed further and it became cheaper to produce, the prices of the products went down. And if you look at it today, sometimes you can get a flat screen TV for a hundred bucks or a little bit more at like Walmart, right? It's cheaper. So the technology brought the prices down. And that was the same that happened with the book press too, or the printing press. It brought the prices of Bibles down and it made them more accessible for people to read. Which led to that, look at today, that we have access to the Bible where it's not restricted by regulations, but pretty much any house in the world would be able to have a Bible today just by the fact of like that it could be printed and put be in place in every house in the world, right? It would be no problem. And that was because this man Gutenberg followed God in the call that he had on his life into business, into being used in that arena that he was in of inventing something. To further the kingdom. 
to spread the gospel, to enable us to read the Bible. It's amazing. So I want to encourage you with that. You know, working for God's kingdom and doing the things he calls you to do doesn't necessarily mean you have to become a missionary, you have to go into street ministry or become a pastor or whatever. No. You have to do what Jesus calls you to do. And that might be something what Gutenberg did. Maybe he called you to be an inventor. Maybe he called you to be somebody that really steps into that role of like, you know, affecting the business world. You know, it's 500 years later and the invention of the, uh, the printing press literally changed the world. It literally changed the world in every aspect. Now imagine God gives you something like this in the business world to change the world in that way. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be incredible? That he gives you something that could bring the gospel to even more people by using you in the realm that he called you to. So I want to encourage you in that. Ask Jesus what he calls you to do. Let him guide you. Look at the giftings you have. And then let him use you in those giftings to bring the kingdom, to build the kingdom. Again, you don't have to become a street preacher. God wants to use you in the abilities and talents that he's given you. And they might be very different than they are for other people because he made each of us unique. But one is not more important than the other. Each piece is important. So Jesus, I want to pray. Reveal to each one of us the talents and giftings you placed in us. And then guide us in how to use them for the kingdom. How to bring glory to your name through them. Through business, through invention, through all those different things. Help us in that, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And help us to not think of like, oh, this is less, if I do business, it's less than doing um, ministry like as a pastor. No, it's not. Like, it's as important. The important thing is, are you following your call? So Jesus, show us that we follow your call in our lives and to step into that, whatever that is, and then walk it out. Help us to see it. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, we love you, we love you. And in your name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed week. And let Jesus reveal to you where your talents lay. And then use them for the kingdom. Let him guide you in it. God bless you, friend. Bye.